Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we had to be checking out Siemens Cinematic or whatever, whatever you call it, a G110 module drive. I have not seen much of these drives around but yet they sell and they're still all around. I'm not really seeing the much of a purpose because of the V20 is out there. What's the purpose of this guy? I don't really know. But nevertheless, we are going to be checking this drive out. As usual, there's going to be three videos. First video, commissioning, local run, and also checking out the parameters. A second video, 2-3 wire control with a remote control, remote potentiometer. Third video with MOP, which is the up and speed control with up and down buttons. And also be checking out the multi-frequency setup. And that's pretty much what we are going to be doing. We, any videos, any related information, I believe you, you will help you out. And also all the manuals that I could find for this drive are all going to be in the description below. So do check it out if you are after a manual. Or check out, there's a couple of videos I left as well down there where if you are watching this for the first time, you got to drive and try to set up some single phase system in your garage or whatever. Guys, check out the description below. There's a couple of videos I made just for that. So, without further ado, let's get started. There we are. So, uh, all wired in. So, as usual, what we do with our drives, we do check out all the connection points. So, as usual, the line in the neutral here comes right on the top and it's got a uh, air terminal right on actual casing down there. And right here in the bottom we have a uh, three phase coming out, three phase, uh, 220 volts going to your motor. Because remember this is a single phase drive. So uh, we are uh, running a, uh, a 220 volts output. So, uh, and with the single phase input, so uh, that's that. And then, then you've got this guy in here. I'm not particularly a big fan of these guys when they start doing this. It's just, you know, I do like when the when the, when the screens are integrated in the, in the, in the, in the drives and you have a quick access and things like that. So otherwise, you just end up. This is another headache for you to go out and get. And actually, I'm not a fan of it, and I don't really usually like drive buying drives like that. So uh, then you have uh, these terminals in here. As you can see, there's a bus terminal on and off, and uh, at the moment it's an off, and we keep it off. We're not going to use that uh, for the general uh, use. And then you have a 16 and, and a 50 hertz down here. Make sure that you select whichever country you are in to make sure that is uh, sitting on a uh, correct switch. Uh, we, I am on down. With here in the UK, we are at 50 hertz. So that's exactly what we are going to be. Uh, using so I do make sure that is the case. So once you're done, just plug that one back on. This guy is not that expensive, so so uh, it's not that bad. So but still annoying. So uh, when it comes down to a uh, terminals, as you can see, it's barely anything there. You only have what 10, 10 terminals, but it it is packed with a lot of things you can do, and that's exactly what we're going to be checking out in upcoming videos. So uh, first two digital input uh, no first two terminals are digital outputs so uh not digital outputs they i don't really yeah digital outputs yeah so these two are digital outputs the uh, three four and a five they are uh, digital inputs and uh six and a seven we've got a uh, six stands at 24 this is what we're going to be using for controlling our uh, switching our inputs and you also have zero coming out as well for uh, different types of things uh, different type of connections so, and uh, from there on, 8, 9, and a 10, it's going to be our potentiometer, and potentiometer needs to be equal or higher than 4.7 kilo ohms. Do remember that. That's exactly what uh, Siemens are uh, strictly putting on their manual, saying it has to be above or equal to 4.7 ohms. So, let's power up. And that's pretty much what we're going to be seeing in our initial screen. And from now on, so let's jump on to the checking out of the buttons and the menu. Start and a stop button is a self-explanatory start stop button. This down here you can use the, to change the directions. We're going to be exploring that in a minute. And we got a jog button. And as you can see, I can jog because it's in a local mode. And uh, you have FN button. FN button is more or less, if you hold it, you can go change the monitoring mode. So you can see what you monitor. 
and it's just get out of it by holding it. So to enter the parameters, you press the P and up and down, obviously self-explanatory, go through the parameters and so on. At the moment, as you can see, I am in a uh, uh, access uh, mode one, so it's not displaying all the parameters, but there's more, we're gonna get to that in a minute. So uh, once you're at the end of the parameters, you wanna come back home, just click FN and P again, and you are out of it. So that's pretty much, that's it. You are pretty much ready to go. So next thing, let's do the factory reset. So to factory reset, all we need to do, go to P, Go to P10, change that one to 30. And from there on, it will jump straight to the uh, 970. Change that to one. And that is it, your drive's reset. I say everything has returned back to uh, a, uh, a factory reset uh, settings. As you can see, I can no longer press my joke as I could before. So now it returns back to factory default. So that's factory reset. So next, let's uh, do the commissioning. For commissioning, as you can see, Siemens has created a beautiful flowchart. Just follow that and you'll be right there. It's quite straightforward. So let's go through it. So the first one, we need to a, uh, go to the P10 uh, and change that one to one, which enters the quick commissioning. So enter the one. From there on, it should start displaying all the parameters in the list one by one, what you need to do. You don't even have to search for them. You just, it just as soon as you click one in P1, and then for in a P10, that's it. It will just start uh, displaying the parameters you need. In a P100, we select uh, the, what the uh, hertz we are. So we should be at a uh, zero, this is correct, 50 hertz. The next one is a 304, which is a motor voltage. So let's check it out, 230, whatever the country you are, make sure that's the uh, correct voltage for it. 305, which is a motor rated current. My current is a one amp. So uh, as I'm, I'm hoping that I'm able to do on this drive because my motor is quite small for this drive. Oh, I am. Excellent. So uh, from there on, uh, next one is going to be a uh, motor power, uh, um, rated motor power. Uh, as you can see, my one is 1.1 kilowatt. In, no, 1.2 kilowatt. So then the motor rated frequency, that's an interesting one. Why do you want to know that? You should know that by yourself. Yeah, 50 hertz, there we go. Motor rated speed, this is really good to give him actual, actual so you can understand each other better. Uh, so, uh, oh, what am I doing in here? Uh, Y1 is, what am I, what am I, what am I, what am I, what is my data? Make, make sure, uh, by the way guys, this is all on your data plate, what I'm doing in here. So make sure you check your data plate out on your, it should be all written on your data plate. That's me. So uh, the next one is a 700. This 700 is where you select how you're gonna be controlling your uh, drive. We are gonna be, for today, we are controlling local mode and for local mode, we need to select that to one. So as you can see by default it's five. So we check that to one. And the, the next one should be your, uh, that's for the, um, uh, uh, command sources, uh, so it's basically starts and stops. The next one is a frequency source. We're gonna be doing it from the front keypad. So we're gonna change that to one as well. So uh, from there on, uh, we, from there on really don't need anything else, but then, then we can gonna do it anyway. So we're gonna set what's our minimum frequency is where you want the drive to start, which is gonna be a uh, P80. So uh, I'm, I'm saying to zero, and that's gonna be the maximum frequency. Then it's going to be a uh, acceleration. So we're going to change that down to one second. Come on, brother. Oh. And the acceleration as well, down to one second. That's my personal preference for, for uh, the testing. And from there on, it should be 3900. So basically, a uh, end. Uh, there's a couple of options in there. We have a uh, end quick commissioning with factory reset of all other settings. There we go. So we're going to do that then. So uh, we are going to go in uh, that, challenge one, and that is it. We're done. So the drive is pretty much ready to be trialed and ready to be tested. We, 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 well, we commissioned it and we're uh, ready. Only thing left now is to run.
Enter run. Put a start. And there we go. As you can see, my my acceleration acceleration is uh, it's uh, on one second, so my up and down buttons are quite sensitive. So if you want you don't want them to be that sensitive, do change your acceleration deceleration. It will change that. As you can see, sensitivity there. Brilliant, perfect. Runs smooth. Runs very well. The motor is nice and quiet. The carrier frequency is perfect. I like it. So uh, really good so far. And there's a jog jog in here. The jog's got different acceleration deceleration. So acceleration two and acceleration deceleration two. But we're going to be checking that out in the next video. So we're going to be playing out with a remote control. So that's pretty much it for commissioning of G110. So that will do, ladies and gentlemen. I hope it gets you where you want to get. And that gives you a good understanding how to get yourself started. And uh, other than that, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you like the video, please smash that like, subscribe, and everything else. And do check out the... Uh, uh, the, the links in the in description below for your manuals and related videos and everything else that you can possibly uh, would possibly need. So do definitely check it out. So on that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.